What's up guys, you're watching Dan's How To Videos and today is the continuation of the How To series on the iPhone 5. Today is going to be all about the iPhone 5 camera. I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Let's get started. Before we get into how to use this camera, let's just take a quick look at the hardware. You have your lens, you have your flash, you have a sensor in the middle, and on the top your volume button, the volume up button, will act as your point and shoot button. Now to activate the camera, you can do it in two ways. First off, if you're on your lock screen here, you could just slide up on the little camera button at the bottom and that'll open up your camera. If your iPhone is already unlocked, you can just tap the camera app here. It's usually on the first page, the top right, and that'll activate your camera as well. Once you're inside the camera app, taking a picture is super simple. All you need to do is point your camera in the direction of the image or person you're taking a picture of, and then tap the circle camera button at the bottom. Your picture is taken. To view the image you just took, simply click the little thumbnail at the bottom left here, and it'll open up your image. You have a few settings you can play around with. You can share your image to messages, Facebook, Twitter, add it to a contact, use it as a wallpaper, or even print it if you have the capabilities. You can also play the image if it is a video. You can delete it if you're not happy with the image just by clicking the little garbage can and hitting delete photo. To return to the camera app, just hit the camera at the bottom left. Now taking a wide angled picture is super simple on the iPhone 5 as well. All you need to do is simply turn your iPhone horizontally here and use your plus volume button to take your picture. Another cool feature on the iPhone 5 camera is the tap to focus feature. If ever your image becomes a little bit blurry when you're focusing, just tap on a specific area and it'll go ahead and focus that. This is good if you have multiple people in an image or if you need to stabilize the image for your picture. Now that we've got the basics out of the way, let's get into some of the more advanced options. At the top left, you have your flash options. It's automatically set to auto. You can turn it on or off depending on your lighting. If you turn it on, it'll look something like this. And it'll give you a flash for your image. Next, in the middle, you have your options, and this will open up a couple of extra things that you can play around with. First off, you have your grid. Now, if you turn that on, you'll have a grid to go with your camera. So if you want to focus on different parts or center something, it'll be a little bit easier. The next setting is HDR, or High Dynamic Range, and basically this is going to set up a photo that's going to have three different exposures to it, and then it's going to layer them into one image. Now, this is kind of cool and more advanced. If you want to play with that, you can just turn it on and see how it looks. The next setting we're going to play around with is panorama, and this is my favorite feature on the iPhone 5 camera. This will allow you to get a full panoramic view of anything you can't fit in your screen. So what you need to do is turn your panorama on, and you'll have a little screen like this. And as you can see, I can only fit that Brio can in the image, but I want to get the iPod Touch as well as this eraser in the picture. So what I'm going to do is tap the camera button and try to follow the arrow along that line as best I can to fit everything in the image. So let's go ahead and take a picture. We'll start with the iPod Touch and just watch what I do. All right, so I went across, pushed done when I was done. Let's take a look at the image. And there you go. I was able to fit everything into the image all at once. Now this is amazing if you have like a nice view and you want to get like a sunrise or something like that. I've done that a few times and the images come out amazing. So give that a try with the iPhone 5 camera. Now the iPhone 5 is also equipped with a front facing HD camera. This is 720p as you can see at the top there. It's right in the middle of your phone. To turn that on you just push the button at the top right. It'll flip the camera around and allow you to use the front facing camera to view anything you want that way. This is good for FaceTime or if you do vlogs or anything you want to use the front facing camera for. To flip back you just tap it again and you're flipped right back to your original camera on the back. Now last but not least with the iPhone 5 you have a video feature at the bottom. To activate that you simply slide it over to the video camera section. You can use it in both landscape or the regular mode like this. Just go ahead and turn it whatever you want to do. To activate it again you can use the button at the top or you can use the little record button here and it will record a video for you. Full 1080p HD video on the back camera. You can also do front facing videos just by flipping it as I showed you just a second ago. Flip the camera around, put it to the video section and record and you can record a vlog or a video and you can actually see yourself so you don't make many mistakes. 
Anyway guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps me out. It helps support the channel. Also subscribe up top if you like these videos and want to be notified in your sub box. When I post a new one, I post one video a day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. Anyway guys, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one.